Where's your phone? You're live. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Lisa and Will's Halls. Today, we have a Dollar Tree haul, a humongous Dollar Tree haul to share with you. And Will went to his parents a couple days and spent a couple days up in North Carolina with them before Thanksgiving. And he has a humongous Dollar Tree haul. Hi, Bonnie. I'm glad you're here. Hi, Bonnie. And Will's going to take this Dollar Tree haul away. And we appreciate you coming, Bonnie, because we really need you. Now, we've had a lot of technical we'll difficulties. Sure. We have been arguing for what? 30 20, minutes. 30 minutes trying to get this live stream going. So we might be doing divorce court shortly after this Hall. Sideways and don't know it. We had a, we had tried it. Let's look on there. Side. You don't look sideways to me. Bonnie, do we look normal? Are we sideways? Bonnie says, shut up, Lisa. Whoa. I am about to. Bye, Bonnie. You just wait for me. I'm coming to your Bonnie, door. You're your moderator tonight. Congratulations. <laughs> Will loves Bonnie. Bonnie's always on Will's side, Bonnie. You're going to get a knock on your door. It's going to be me. Be ready. We're going to be ready to rumble. But, but my other girlfriend, Sadie J, might be mad because I went up to North Carolina and didn't visit her. But she's on the a total opposite end up near Virginia. True. True. You just have too many girlfriends. You little run around Joe. I want to say run, run around. around. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get it wrong. Yeah, so you can tell we're wacky. We're out of it. So right after this haul, we're going to start our divorce court. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to let thank everybody for coming in. I'm going to be quiet. Will has this awesome Dollar Tree haul. We'll take it away. All right, so first of all, I went to four different Dollar Trees. And inside of those Dollar Trees Enjoy. were fantastic. They were all in North Carolina. I've been to one one time before, which was the Lincoln's and one, uh, and the three Gastonia stores I had never been to. The people were extremely nice to me. They just had a mask mandate law. And of they course, they're some... North Carolinians. That's why they're nice. They're just like me, because all North Carolinians are awesome people. And in the words of somebody who visited us one time, sweet like sugar is what Lisa is. However... Oh, no, that's... Let me get to that right quick. We better tell a little... No... I am known as Sweet Like Sugar by a lot of people. That's my nickname because we had some men come out and do some work to our place at our apartment. And they went back and told our maintenance man, they go, that lady is just so sweet. She's sweet like sugar. So I guess that makes me tart like lemon. You are. You're very and mean. I love lemon. You are. You are a lemon sour puss. Bye, Will. So anyhow, I had not seen the belts that some people have been hauling. Now there was only one size, luckily. It was a size that I can wear. And I got three of them. I accidentally got two of the same belt. So I have, I had two of the brown belt. And these were originally $5.99 each or two for 10. So to get them for $1 from American Accessories, I thought it was a great deal. And then I got a dress belt and this is a reversible dress belt. And there you see the brown on the back, and it's very easy to flip over. So I was super excited about that. Anytime you can get some accessories for, well, I paid $2 and whatever the tax is. I thought that was wonderful. Next, I got, and y'all know I love Hot Wheels. This one is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And it's the Hot Wheels screen time, which I think I have three of the Hot Wheels screen time already. So I've got just six more now to collect for that collection. Now this is for my grandson, Landon. He loves Hot Wheels. He loves Spider-Man. And uh, this is from Marvel. And I got this for his Christmas. I'm going to have to hide it quickly today because he will be back here soon. But this is the five set. There are only five cars in this collection. Uh, I have started seeing them at my local store, so they just came out. But I figured, hey, you know what? I've got something that he really loves, which is Spider-Man and Marvel. 
So how exciting is that to get that for him? And then the next part that I got for his Christmas, and I got a tin from my sister, so I'm going to use it. It is Overwatch, and it was a set of five. I found this one in one of the Gastonias, actually both of them in the Gastonia stores, and that is so cool. It's five cards, just like the other collection, one through five. I've got them all. So I was excited to have those. I took care of his Christmas because he's got a lot of Christmas gifts anyway. Uh, next, I found the pocket tool, which is a knife, a saw, and a can opener. And it says also that it is a nail file down below. And I know that Dollar Tree has had these out for quite some time. This is a Greenbrier product. But I needed another one. It would be easy. I have a bigger knife. I have a fillet knife. But these smaller knives would work well for cut and fishing line, which if you haven't checked out gas fishing, go ahead and do so. I would love to have you. Um, I'm almost at 300 followers. I'm really, really close. I was at 295 at last check. So that is going very, very well. Uh, next item, I got two of these. At least I only wanted one, but I decided they were so cute I got two. And what they are is they're cell phone holders, and they're actually stands, cell phone stands, and Aren't these adorable? I mean, you could, the plug-in is on the back, so you can plug it up and charge your cell phone. And I thought that they, it's his and hers. It's cute, they're pastel colors. Um, I believe, let me see, it is a Greenbrier product. So I was really excited to get those. I think that those will be uh, excellent things that I can find our cell phones easy with. Uh, my sister, I gave her some Plated Christmas gifts from last year um, and I had a lot for my niece because she's well I have another niece but she's the only really really young niece who believes in Santa Claus so we got her a lot of hair stuff and it turned out that, that was really popular so I got her some more for this year and I found these uh, it's the hair accessories and it's green briar and includes four elastics two pony holders one scrunchie. I thought that was a pretty good deal for a dollar. And then inside of this one, it includes one scrunchie and one hair bow clip. And I really thought that they were well done. It looks like it's kind of like a velvet uh, texture to it. And this is a huge Dollar Tree haul, by the way, guys, just to let you know. Uh, next, I found for my brother-in-law who loves cars, Maseratis, Porsches, and Ferraris, which is, happens to be what this video is about. It's a BBC video. It is, let me see how long it is. It doesn't really say, but it's Clarkson and it's on the BBC. So I was excited to get this for him because he loves all things English and he loves cars. And as you can clearly see, that's what's there. Maserati in the front, something blowing up in the back. Hey, a guy can't go wrong with that, right? So pretty well outfitted for Christmas. Next, I found this for Lisa. It was the only one they had. She loves leopard print. She loves cheetah print. So there it is. It's the party buffet napkins. And this particular one, it's 16 pieces. And she really wanted another one. But this is the only one that I have ever seen. So if you happen to have one of those in the store, she loves that stuff. Not saying to send it to her, but she does love it. Uh, I felt like we needed another flashlight in the house. So for a buck, hey, why not? Um, and this one requires AAA batteries, three. Of course, I got them from the Dollar Tree. So I will be putting that in because I will be going fishing on Sunday with Landon because I have been promising him and promising him and promising him. Now, next I found, this was in the last store that I went to in Gastonia. And they had, they had the belts, they, man, they, they had it going on. To be honest with you, I think there are 68 people allowed to be in the store, and they were constantly on the 68th person. That's how busy it was. All three lines were backed up all the way into food. It took me a while to get out of there. They, they got another fourth line open. They had six registers at this Dollar Tree. I was like, okay, this is a big Dollar Tree. Uh, so they had the Fabric Fashion face cover. And, you know, some of you know about Lisa's health problems, so I really want to make sure that she has uh, different face covers she can use. She tried these on. They worked great. Uh, that particular one was the kitchen mixer, 
And then this one has like bowls and stuff like that. And Lisa loves to, um, and this is from the Amer an American company. So it is not a Greenbrier product. Uh, but Lisa loves to make stuff in her kitchen and she's a really great cook. She outdid herself for Thanksgiving, of which we have plenty of Thanksgiving food left to eat. Now this is the mixer, the batter, the spoon. And again, this is from an American company and it is not a green buyer product. I just want to be clear about that. It's an American company, packaging product design in the U.S. of A. So everything's done in the U.S.A. on that one. And this is uh, another fashion mask that I found and it's from a different company, same store, ironically. Uh, it's the Royal Deluxe Accessories. It's not for medical use, it's only for civilians. It is 95% polyester and 5% uh, spandex. And it is the little flowers. Lisa loves flowers, so I figured I'd get those first. She loves sunflowers. I got her daisies. And I right. tried one on, and I, I don't like any mask. I'm not really a mask supporter. I know, it fussed me out. Or a mask wearer. But I'm trying to find one that will work for me so I don't have such a hard time. Lisa's over there drinking a Dr. Pepper. That's the noise you just heard. I wish it was, I wish I liked to drink because after that I start up, I need one. After, yes, it was very Ooh. stressful. Uh, next I found, and this was at that same Gastonia store. Uh, these aren't Rainbrier products, but these are so cute. They're called patch pins. Uh, they're from Christmas House. And I'm gonna give the first one the stocking and the wreath. They did have these last year. So these are not a new product to Dollar Tree, but they did not have, I'm, they had these designs last year. I just never found them. I found a different one. These are so cute to do the pocket letters or ugly just sweaters. ugly sweaters and different things. And next you have Santa Claus and another stocking. I need to send this one to Bonnie Ooh. because Will, uh, Bonnie cheats on you. It's okay, Bonnie. With Santa. It's okay. If you're going to cheat on me with somebody, cheat on me with <laughs> I can live with that. Now, these, I think, were one of the best finds that we had. I, I thought the belts were the best. That you had. I didn't go with you. I did it myself. That's right. I did a Dollar Tree haul all by myself. You did a lot of hauls. I did a lot of hauls. He came home and I'm like, oh my gosh, where are we going to put this? And this haul will last a while, just to warn, warn everybody, and then we'll talk about Thanksgiving. Uh, so scarves, and this is one size fits all, it's kids, and this is going to be a Christmas gift for grandchildren. Grandkids. This is for Elijah, and it is the football scarf, and now that is... Oh, not, I'm sorry, I was reading That it. is not Greenbrier either, that is Royal Deluxe. You can keep talking. This next one... Out of New out. York, New York. The irony of this is... This kid's thing actually fits Lisa. And remember, she loves the leopard print, even though that's pink leopard print. So that is directly going to her. She's not going to put it on this pile. She's going to take it over there with her. I'm going to put everything in the oh, same she thing. Keeps putting it in the pile. Well, we have to put it all together so when I go back to get out, I have some. If you could see our living room right now. It's not up to par. Well, we got stuff here, stuff, all Dollar Tree stuff he's brought in. Landon loves dinosaurs. So that is for Landon. That is another Christmas gift for Landon. The footballs were for Elijah. And that one, Lyric loves Shark Week. And that one is for Lyric. So we pretty buddy. Now this is where it gets really Seems funny, like ladies, it. if you're a lady watching this. Because Will was all up in the makeup aisle. And the lady saw it When he sure sees he new things, he grabs it. He don't care if we need it or if we don't need it. So I'm sure a lot of this is going into a giveaway. I have... Um, I'm going to announce that there will be a secret giveaway in this video. Thanks for spoiling it, Lisa. Wow. You do have a giveaway. I do um, have a giveaway. I don't really wear makeup. I never really have. But I do wear, you know, once in a while, just to look a little bit presentable. Ew. So here we go. Interestingly, I found Maybelline New York, and I had not seen Maybelline before. And this is two colors, and I'm trying to see what it is. It says color show, and then the other one is, I think, straight purple. But I liked that color combination, 
And it's purple and like a light gray. Light gray. It's very unique. And next, I found now I have six seen a, items. I here. have seen a few of these hauled. Will really has doesn't watch hauls. But I had seen a few of these hauled, and I've heard they're from the 99 cent store, which we don't have. Oh, that's interesting, because the 99 cent store is in Fresno, California. Right. And this is from Beauty Essential Cosmetics of Fresno, California. So, this is lip gloss. It is the Amber Gris lip gloss from Be Fun and Beauty Essentials. And you notice that it has $1.99 amazing value. It's an even more amazing value when you get it for a dollar. At the Dollar Tree? At the Dollar Tree. Uh, next, we have the Brow Paint Highlighter, black. And it's two colors, actually. Well, it's black and brownish. I have never wore any kind of black. Oh, that's Brow Paint. It's Brow oh, Paint right. Highlighter Black. Okay. Right. And next we have eyeshadow trio and Tuscany bold three colors. Mold. Bold. Bold. Oh, I was about to say mold. That didn't sound. On their face. Even I know that. You never know. Yeah, people might put mold on their face. And then next we have the it's be sharp. Oh, these have these have little sayings, Lisa. We missed them. One of them says be seen. One of them says be kind. Try that sometime, Will. One of them says, be fun. That's me. That's you. And this one says, be sharp, and it's a brown pencil sharpener. It has the sharpener and two, looks like two brushes. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know anything about this. It does have a sharpener and two eyeliner pencils inside. Oh, and a brush to brush your eyebrows and a little comb. That's cool for a dollar. Yes, good find. And next we have, be strong, volumizing mascara, black. There you go. And then in a touch of irony, we have Be Seen. Eyeshadow Trio Bora Bora, allowing yourself to be seen as you are is what makes you beautiful. Why don't we try these out on you and you let me put makeup on you? No, because you can't <laughs> from where I work, watch these videos. And you wouldn't uh, let me do it anyway. You're right. All right, so next, I found something that I've never seen. It's called Maddie's Masterpiece. It is a Greenbrier product. Uh, and it's a peel and stick 360 mosaic sticker kit. So that is going to be interesting. To this see is kind of like on. diamond art where you have the little pieces to put in. And this is what the back looks like. Keep the little ones busy for a little while. Next we have Star Wars playing cards. I may already have these the more I'm thinking about it, but that's okay because... They may be part of a giveaway. Fancy that. So, the villains playing cards from Disney. Think about this. That might be part. Next, we have salt and pepper grinders. Lisa's called me on my way home, and I had already passed all the stores. So I stopped in Columbia, and I got a regular salt and pepper. And then I stopped by our stores and got the grinders, because I didn't know if I was going to be able to find them. But salt and pepper grinders. But today he's been Dollar Tree shopping again. This man is. But I'm going to step up the game. But this Hand man. To me, but this man is a Dollar Tree. Paul. Craze, person. craze person. person. And he went today uh, and he found. Let's compare. The pink Himalayan salt in the grinder. I was excited about this, this one. This was the only one that I found. And here's the difference. Boop. Look at how big it is compared to the pepper. That is huge. Bonnie said you're the Dollar Tree King. He is. All right, this is 0.5 pounds, and I can't read what this is, but it's way less. Um, she, the Bonnie said you're the Dollar Tree King. Everybody in all of our Dollar Trees in South Carolina and Georgia know Will. He knows them all by first name. They see him coming. This is true. I actually know more people than Lisa knows. I don't get involved. I don't remember names. I can stuff. tell you cashiers from every single store. And some managers. So next we have shadow boxes. And these are two separate shadow boxes. This one is like a trunk. Uh, that's not a shadow box. Oh, well, what is it? It's just a box. It's a gift box. 
Okay. What a gift box. Look, so, look, see, that's where our firstborn things come in. Where we both have to be right because he thought it was a shadow box. He was not going to believe me until he read that for himself. Yes, and it's, yes, I'm not going to say any further because that would be open to court after this. But see, I could pop you, but then we could get the police called on us. We might get in trouble. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Okay. We're, we're doing divorce court right after this. So, anyway, you see how this opens and it's beautiful inside and it's all wood. It does not feel like it's a fake wood. No, it's wood. It's wood. This one is different because it's like a... Dress. Bonnie said a shadow box has no top wheel. You know, I saw shadow boxes today and I should have known that. You're right, You should have. And we've already discussed this. Bonnie, are you a firstborn? <laughs> <laughs> He's looking for a new wife and he doesn't want you to be a firstborn. <laughs> anyway, that's a new prerequisite. But this one looks like a dresser because it's got the top to it. And again, it's cute inside. We actually, I think. Let me hold the other three. one so I can show them both at one time so you can see the difference. Oh. So yeah. this one is kind of more rounded. And then this one has like the little. They're both the same. It size. is like a little dresser box. Right. She's a middle child. Oh, but we have a middle child. Right. <laughs> Let's get started on that. <laughs> Here. Ooh. The middle childs are always something. But Bonnie's not like the middle child, really, I don't think. So, uh, this year, Mattel released 75 years play for Mattel. And part of that was with Matchbox, and part of it was with Hot Wheels. So these are specialty uh, vehicles. This is the F-350 Super Duty. And that one is, I believe, a rescue vehicle. It says Ford F-350 Super Duty. And it should be because of the color. It looks so dark in here, but I can't get it any lighter. Um, actually, this is a rescue vehicle. So, that's pretty cool. Now, next I have Mr. Bean. Is that the same? You bought two yes, of the same? That's part of our giveaway. So, once you watch the video, and you're a subscriber, and you like the live... The keyword for the video will be Mr. Bean. B E A M. Beam. Bean. B E A N. Bean. Not Bean. Oh, it's like an M to me. Okay, Bean. Mr. Hashtag Bean. Bean. Correct. There was a movie out about him in the 80s, and he did Johnny English. May I ask you why you got two? I got one for the giveaway. Okay. And one for me. Sweet Sadie J's here, Will. Oh, my other girlfriend. Hello. <laughs> now, my, my wife. Oh, run around soon. My sister told me that I needed to bring wine for Christmas. So I decided I'll just bring her a wine book. It'd be a lot cheaper. We still got to buy the wine. We still got to buy the wine, but we already had some. So I looked through this uh, photograph by Andy Katz. How much? Uh, let's see. 1995. Wow. And you got and it for a dollar. This is a region of France. And here you can see. I have never been to France, but Will has been quite a few times. Nicholas Faith wrote this book. And again, photographs by Andy Katz. And it's so beautiful up in Burgundy. That's the name of the... If you have not the been what? there. The that's, town. That's the name of the region in France. Okay. So... This is my sister's. She likes wine, so congratulations. And we'll buy a gift for Bonnie. Yes, Bonnie. I got your ho-ho socks. Santa Claus. Y'all can ho-ho-ho around. Knee highs. Now, if they're not your size, it is. Sorry, but they're fine. If she don't want them, she can say, I don't want them. You can keep them. She can but send aren't them. these cute? She can send them to her relatives. With so the Bonnie red heel. you. For being our moderator tonight. Jennifer, hi. Hey, Jennifer. Well, did you know Jennifer is back on YouTube now? Did you know that? You said something about that. Okay. Hey, J Lo. Our well, own J Lo. Just, just to review. Uh, we don't need. Okay. Keyword, Mr. Bean, in the comment section below after the video, once it's posted, to be entered in the Mr. Bean giveaway. Now. My sister made a note that, or told me that she and her husband, Jamie, were having fights because she kept taking his socks and he said he was only getting back one. 
when he gave her a pair. So she so, so she takes those pair of socks, but only gives them back one sock. Correct. Mm -hmm. And the perfectly good washer and dryer that he's had for years and years and years has always returned two socks for him, never returns two socks. So I have come up with a remedy for this problem. I he's, bought a pair of these. Now I had already hauled these in a previous Correct. video, but these are really cute. And these are new this year to Dollar Tree. So my sister is getting this pair of socks because there's no mistaking that these will be hers. Or I could give them to Jamie and they could be his. Next, I found for myself. I haven't seen these. This is the matchbox with matches. And, yep, with matches. Okay. Bowling ball with bowling pins. Bonnie says she never loses socks. Me either. And Will and I, my feet are tiny and his are big, so we don't have a problem of us wearing each other's socks. Next, we have the smiley faces, or uh, actually the faces, because there's smiles, there's frowns, there's e, there's uh. That's like we were feeling when we started the video. <laughs> yeah, let me find that one exactly. Come on, let's get to the next. You got a lot of stuff. All right, so next are eggs. Which is a repurchase. <laughs> This is how we were feeling. We were upside down. I'm kind of still, I'm still kind of upside down after all these years with you. I don't think I'm ever going to be right Next side up. The king, queen, whatever you've, you want. You've purchased Prince. those before too. Okay, good. They're now these were new I'd never way. seen. And these are the paper mache boats in the water with the little flags. With the red heel. All right. So this yeah. is for my niece. I don't know if they can see you that good. Elena of Avalar, and ironically, there are four puzzles. She, there are 12 piece puzzles, and she's only like six. She's six. So, and she went and showed me this very movie, and we were watching it at her house. So, she's getting that. Oh, you have another box as well. Oh, that's the other shadow box. Uh, wood uh -oh, box. we've already yeah, told you. box. <laughs> see if y'all are paying attention. This you shouldn't call me out like that because I was waiting to see if they would say something. You can show the Wonder Woman bandage. Well, I've already hauled those so long ago. He buys a lot of, he buys a lot of things I've already got. Now this lights up. It is a, it is not a Greenbrier product. It is Trans International. I thought this was cute. It is a it pencil, a not a pen. Go on. Let me see if I can figure out how it lights up. See if it lights up, but I don't see how yet. Maybe I'll figure that out when I get it out. I'm taking these out. Um, I'm gonna make Will take these back. I, he, he can't remember a lot of things that are hauled, but these are the mac and cheese, and I didn't like these at all. They weren't cheesy enough. They, no, they just weren't good. So, they're going, they're going back to the Dollar Tree. So, I found the Panela and Max Aromas. Again, I'm not really good with the cleaning supplies, but this one is... Because um, he doesn't clean. Floral Bloom, and this is 33% more, so I'm a sucker for when it says 33% more. And it's 25. in the 33.8 ounces. I figured it was a good size. <laughs> and then I found the large garbage bags. The 30 gallon, and I only found one of these. It was the six count, not the four count black garbage bags. Here, well, since you got garbage bags out, go ahead and do these. Oh, sure. you got, I'll just take them. I'm gonna take three of them. He did get four. I got four of these, and they're the Hawaiian Aloha, which is a scent we do like. And I found these, the 13 gallon bags. I have four boxes total. And they are seven count, not five. Which they usually come in five. But that one store had nothing but seven count. And they had different different ones, but I only wanted the wine flavor. Next, I found a huge thing of Double Bubble, double bubble which Landon, Lyric, and I will be working on this week. They, tonight, probably. They wanted it yesterday. When Lisa you said, cannot stand when I chew gum because I'm annoying. You are very annoying. I'm just annoying, period. So... We have used this before. I got two of them. It is a pizza sauce. If you have not tried the Dollar Tree brand uh, pizza sauce, let me make sure that I'm, which is Pantry Essentials. Actually, I lied. This is from Lucerne Foods, and it is delicious. We've had this before. 
You have it turned sideways. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually, you don't know sideways from backwards to front. No, I'm a little dyslexic sometimes. Next, I have the Banana Beauty Body Yogurt After Shower Cream from Bolero. I had not seen this before. I am going to use this tonight. I have not used it yet. So I need to give a product review Hold on, on this one. Hold on, my battery's going low. I forgot to. Okay, we're going to charge real quick. There you go. Keep rolling. Okay. Next, there you go. I found the hot and cold iPads, the donuts. I told Will, why did you get those for? I do not have time to lay around and put something on my eyes. I might, though. We going to show them? Yes. There you go. And this is another item he brought home, and I'm like, what the heck did you bring these home for? He thought they were new, but I've showed them to him before we've been Dollar Tree, but I've never purchased them. Okay, so there are four of them, and they are hair bows. And I'm sitting there thinking they're hair bows for kids. And, well, they're hair bows for dogs. So, some people view dogs as their kids. So, what's the big deal? No big deal. This one is a little uh, pug, it looks like. And it has a little bit of greenish blue black background. A pug with hearts. A hipster dog. And a crazy looking dog. <laughs> crazy looking dog. Yeah, he's crazy, all right. Now that is either going back to the store or it might be part of the giveaway. We haven't determined that yet. Spiral Art. This is for my niece. She loves things like this. And I Gotta hold it in the middle. Really, it's Greenbrier International product. It's really cute. And with her being homeschooled this year, congratulations to her. Okay, so next, Lisa was highly upset when I got these. Like we or need them. I didn't say highly upset. I didn't actually know. You, I didn't know you got anything when you got it. I didn't know you got home. I'm like, what are we gonna do with all this stuff? So I have four puzzles here. I'm gonna give you the first two. For, and Dollar Tree is this is part of the Christmas collection, I believe. It is the blockbuster movies. And first we have Office Space. Which they are pretty cool. Because work sucks is what it says on the back. Blockbuster. Now, I remember this from high school, and Aerosmith uh, had the lead song to this movie. It is Clueless, and Alicia Silver... Silver, Silver uh, Spoon. Is it Silver Spoon? Yeah, everybody had a crush on her back then. Yeah. Uh, Footloose with Kenny Loggins. And, uh, Footloose. Some people, some people say I look like him. No, you don't. He's handsome. Here you go. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Kevin Bacon. Yes. Is he still living? Of course he is, right here. Go ahead. Um, and then we Silly have Flash self. Dance. Man, that was probably a little too risque for me. Back well, this came out when I lived in another country, and we were hearing back from the States that uh, Flash Dance came out. It was a little risque. And, um, yeah. So, so but I, we couldn't watch it. We could just hear from people. Only one of these stores had this, and it was super, super cute. Hold it up. It is a bag with words. Maybe if we could see it. Farmer's market on it. You got to hold it up a little more. There you go. So like sour flat kind of bag. I think I'm going to use it at Aldi. And I work at a farmer's market, so. Oh, yep, there you go. Now, okay. I saw these recently for $4.99 at another discount store. And... Because I'm such a Star Wars geek, I could not pass up having the Darth Vader 2016 Star Wars Hot Wheels. And I'm sure these are a lot more elsewhere. Well, they were four, I've seen them $4.99 and I've seen them $5.99. So to get them for a dollar, now one store is using them as donations if you wanted to buy them. Which I think is a great idea, but it's a little bit of price gouging when I can get it for a dollar at Dollar Tree. It was using them for what? Um, I think it was Ollie's. They had a sign. That you could buy those and donate it? Right. That's a good idea. That it is, is a good donate. idea. Flushable moist wipes. I have 90 of these. Um, I've not been finding them recently, so I had to buy them. Three packs. Three packs, 30 each. And next was the antibacterial 
from luxury hygiene, 33% more. And this is the 40 count. A lot of them have been 30 count. So watch your bags for your count. Is that a bacterial? Yes. This was a new item. Will went, like I said, he went back today and found these. Dollar Tree addicts. These look really good. So we have now Mountain Trail Mix, and these are four individual servings. A blend of salted peanuts, raisins, M&Ms, milk chocolate, salted almonds, and all the good stuff. And who, who made ounce. these? And it's by Nature's Garden, powered by plants. 130 calories. I wonder if that's per bag. I'm sure it is. It comes in four in individual bags. bags. Multi-pack. So there you go. Well, there you have it. Here's something else we'll found today. Can't stay away from the Dollar Tree. This is a large bottle. Have you ever seen this in a Dollar Tree? I haven't. Have you? I have. And I was out with Lyric because Lyric told me that we were severely depriving him of snacks. We have tons of snacks here, as you know, if you watch our videos. But he said he, we didn't have anything that he liked. We didn't have his. So but he, he did got. love those unicycle cookies I bought. Right. And I love those too, but we haven't he found those yesterday, again. yesterday, and we used unicycle cookies to get his sugar up. So this is Louisiana Supreme. Lyric picked this. He is a Texas Pete fan. He said he did not want... Um, What's that other one? Oh, no, this is in 12 fluid ounces. Right, this is going to last us for a while. And who makes this? Uh, it is from Louisiana Hot Sauce, and it is packaged by Peppers Unlimited of Louisiana in St. Martinville, Louisiana. So it is American. And it is not a Greenbrier product. And next we have some whales. Poor Pat. Well, you, you got to do it when I hand it to you. Do that first. Well... Well, we're going to go with Scooby Snacks instead of whales. Uh, <laughs> that is baked graham crackers, cinnamon. This is the four-pack. Be careful because a lot of people open these and sell them as singles for a dollar. Yes, we are. Our Georgia Dollar Trees Do are that. known for splitting these up, all these packages and selling them for a dollar. Four-pack. So make sure. Make sure you get the four-pack. Ashley can take those back with her because those are good for the grandson. And... Another thing that's good for the Show your new item you found today. Oh, yes. I have never seen this. It is from Sabritas. It is by Pepsi. Pepsi? Pepsi product. It says Pepcoin by PepsiCo. Snack, drink, cash. Is in. PepsiCo Pepsi? I didn't know Pepsi made food products, but who, what, who am I? I don't remember anything. There it is. Wow. So, um, it's part of the Pepsi family, and this is called Turbo. Turbo's... Flames, flamas, and it is something that Lyric is probably going to enjoy because it's something super it's hot. It's a pretty heavy bag. It's in the um, four ounce, but it feels now, pretty Landon heavy. And I actually found that one, not Lyric. Next, Lyric loves Tabasco seasoned Slim Jims. So there it is. And a lot of Dollar Trees are not carrying Slim Jim right now, which is weird. Really? Yeah, uh, not really finding them very much anymore, so to find that. Now, Lyric did choose, I chose the mini fudge marshmallow cookies. I had not seen them before. These are, let me see what these are distributed by. They're Green Briar. So, these are going to be a taste test item, I think. Okay, this was chosen by Lyric. Uh, Fiera's, hot. Fiera's Chili Lime. In flavored lyric loves hot, but it's weird because he didn't like the Amazon sauce. He now, said that was too hot. If you ever find the Amazon sauces at Dollar Tree, Ooh. please pick those up. Ooh. Those are awesome if you like sauces. You can thank us later. You can put. We, it like we found them twice book. since uh, we started Dollar Tree House. Right, and if we find them, there, guess what? We're gonna buy every single one of them on the shelf. Double. Especially the green one. Now this, they bought two of. Lyric has already had one. I know a lot of people say they don't like these. When you get these, warm these up, and they're exceptionally good. Oh. But I like to make them in my Instapot from Fresh. I had a can of these coming back because I didn't stop and eat. Oh, you did? Yeah, I had a couple You don't things. supposed to eat in the car, Missy. Oh, well. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, so anyway, I ate these in the car. But I drained them beforehand in the parking lot, and I discarded all my trash. Thank you very much. Well, his Lisa dad is a, like his, his dad is an environmentalist, so he was taught to do that at an early age. Lisa, I'm not crazy over those. It's not like these, but I guarantee you by tomorrow. Of course, I don't like the expensive ones either. 
Landon and I are going fishing on Sunday morning. These will be gone and out of the house and devoured. I think that they are great. I think they are tasty, and I love them. So, and I eat them so it doesn't get left over or thrown away. Now, as many of you know, Lisa made a pizza pan DIY. Or may not know. Or may not know and need to check it out. Hint, hint. Uh, a pizza pan DIY. Okay, you can check it out for your best. And it was made from... It's my pizza. most famous video on YouTube. It's about 25,000. It's about 25,000 views. I'm very proud of that DIY. Although it's still I don't, growing. Although I don't think it's by far my best DIY. But um, I'm going to do a Christmas one. Speaking of DIYs, we just recently, within the last four yeah. hours, released a new DIY which Lisa ranks as her cutest. So I want you to go check that out if you can. If you don't have time, I understand. But if you go check it out, it leave a, a comment. This, I think that may be my favorite Dollar Tree DIY. As far as I'm, I'm, my judge and jury still out on it, it is a long DIY. Okay, so next we have whales, because I keep trying to get to the whales here. <laughs> and whales, cheddar cheese, what I was originally sent out to look for by Lyric, with Lyric. He likes these better than goldfish. Whales, cheddar cheese. Baked cheese crackers. These are the seven ounce. I got two. Hey, why not for two bucks? It doesn't really matter. Uh, and the kid's happy, so it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, strawberry filled muffins are next up. They're from Greenbrier. We've tried some of the other stuff. It's yeah, it's hit or miss. So we'll let you know. So that's going to be a taste test item. Strawberry filled muffins. Taste test item. New item alert. It's getting close to the end. Go ahead. Yeah, those are all items that I've shown before, haven't I? Tasty bread? Yeah. The bread, have I done the cookies? Yeah, I sure. like these. But since we're talking about them, I know a lot of people like them. We'll pick these up. Thin shortbreads, I'm going to have to eat them. I don't really care for them. I'll suffer through it. Uh, I'll give you my taste test results on what I feel on a taste test. You've already yeah. had them. I'm sure I'll put them in your lunch. If I ate them, then they're good. Uh, fried pork rinds, uh, the sweet mild barbecue. Now this is from a new company, and this kind of, and again, it may be a company that is in your area. Um, I think I have you crooked there. But this, uh, sorry, is, this is good until 12 20, 2022. So in case I'm an apocalypse or zombie takeover, we're good to go with these. Uh, fried pork rinds, Carolina country snacks, and they are from Henderson, North Carolina. I think that's where Sandy J lives in Henderson. These are Country Snack Manufacturing Incorporated of 513 Commerce Drive. And they have a scan on the back. Woo I have some people getting in touch with me telling me they're trying to get in our live and it won't let them get in our live. Okay. So, I don't know people, why. Are there people on? Yeah, there's people. <laughs> okay. Actually, no, Will, you don't have one person on. They're all texting. <coughs> Did you hear my phone going off? And they're saying that you, they can't get into our live. Okay, we'll finish it then. Nobody is interested in your video. I'm just kidding. You got people on. All right. So but some are saying they can't get in. Carolina here. Country Snacks. Well, text them back and tell them about the special giveaway. Go ahead. Go ahead. Mr. Bean. Remember that. Um, hashtag Mr. Bean. Hashtag Mr. Bean. Got to be a subscriber. Got to like the video. All the good stuff. Uh, so next we have fried And give us some thumbs up. Salt and vinegar. So it looks like we already have another video for next time. Okay. We already have another live for maybe Sunday night. Uh, Carolina Country Snacks again, out of Henderson. And it gives a crunch factor. And let's see. It's tender. This is tender, these are tender. But they have some evidently that are jaw busters. Yeah, I like hard ones. I have been um, chewing on this, it's really good. Oh, you cheater. You told me. Lisa. I told you what? Wait a second. Come on. You're... Now, and ladies and gentlemen, I would like you to see that Lisa is actually smacking some gum. And... Oh, here, Will. Let's roll I'm it. I'm going to need to take some PM because I'm going to be really upset. This is going to be... I'm going to have to take the whole bottle. This is going to be mentioned in divorce court. So now we should get ready for our divorce court I'm take some finale. So I sleep through that. So, love the PM, though. Always use it. Um, and he does have a few more items, but that just repeats, so. And there are a bunch of snacks that Larry picked up, like hot fries, 
Um, Kester's, moon, moon pies, pies, tortillas. By the way, double pretzels tortilla and pretzels. They are all good. All right, show these taste, and you're done. That's taste test. These are repurchased too. Now, let's see some of the comments. Uh, we have. You have to quit talking so you can read them. Noka. We have caramel, and these are all ice lattes. And we have vanilla. Lisa said she doesn't like these. I'm going to give them all a try, and I will give my opinion on it. And if it's weak, it's weak. If he doesn't dry, drink any not. coffee I stuff coffee, usually. So. Bonnie, I just read a comment. Bonnie said, "Shut up." <laughs> so let me read. I'm sure she was telling that to me. Why do you say shut up? Let's just shut up and be quiet. Okay. Not Let's see if you can be quiet the longest. Quiet. I'm just kidding. Oh. So, obviously, I did most of this haul before Thanksgiving, and then I did some. No, you didn't. No, 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 no. That's not true. Oh, yeah. You didn't do any of this before Thanksgiving. I got the items. No, you didn't buy. You didn't go to Dollar Tree before Thanksgiving. You left Monday and went to your parents. You didn't stop at any Dollar Trees. But before I came, Thanksgiving was Thursday. I came home Wednesday. Right. You left their house. I bought the items all Oh, okay. I'm getting Wednesday. Wednesday. Well, tell her again. <laughs> Look, y'all. I'm tired. Wednesday, you bought the items on the way home. Right. We need a body to move in with us to keep you straight. And I stopped by Cabela's, too, and found a bunch of Oh, you didn't tell me that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, let me tell you something. He left his parents at 12, and he got home at 8, 8.30. Yeah. And it's only, it's like Gilligan's Island, a three-hour ride. Three-hour tour. <laughs> three-hour tour, yeah, that's true. But, um, I, I don't know. My days are confused. All this work I've been doing this week, I'm just... And then the rest of the haul was done today. I'm just tired. So now we're fully outfitted for snacks, according to Lyric. For toys, according to Landon. <laughs> Bonnie said so. I said shut up. <laughs> she just went out. I'm sure she was telling me to shut up. So what did you do during Thanksgiving? Lisa outdid herself. The dinner was outstanding. Um, we still have leftovers, which we'll eat tonight. Oh, she said us both talking divorce court. She She's like our child. Now she don't want us to talk about divorce court, Will. That's sad. We're just kidding. I don't know. We might be serious. Well, hello. She's shy. She's crafty. Dana Mankey, hi. Hi, Dana. I gave Will the phone now so he can interact. Cindy Bailey said she's seen it. Um, just Teresa says hi. Uh, I miss shopping at the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. Jennifer Lopez, I did too because I went a long time without doing it, which is like two weeks. Well, you went really a long time because he he's always been a Dollar Tree shopper and a Dollar Tree hauler. For, for Kevin Bacon is still alive. Mimi. <laughs> huh? Yes. For as long as I've known him, but I would be, he'd call me from the Dollar Tree. Bring, bring, I'd say hello. No, do not bring me that junk home. And somehow he's got me into oh, it. Oh, Jennifer Lopez this is clearly on your side. J-L-O-Y. What? I see. I, I can so relate with you, Lisa. When my man comes home from DT and show me what he got. Exactly. Sometimes I'll be like, why are you buy that? Exactly. But there is always a point. See, I always knew and why I liked her so bought, much. I also bought today some bells and some... Bells? Yeah, I got a little bit of... A, I got two big bells. So you probably got a whole trunk load of stuff you're not even showing. No. No, no, no. I don't. Why did you buy bells? For your fishing? Yep. But you already bought a, a bag from Walmart. And I'm going to put them all together tomorrow. Me and Landon are going to have a tambourine going off when that sucker hits the water. We are catfishing. We are catfishing. Me and Landon. So I wanted to get back to something. Um, I wanted to get back to the point of how was everyone's Thanksgiving? You know, uh, how's things going? And uh, I just know that uh, some things uh, things are rough out there, but we were able to celebrate. And I hope everyone else had as great of a Thanksgiving. Uh, I'm truly blessed to have Lisa is my wife. You, I have. That is one thing you have got right in life. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, she outdid herself. And I, the that's turkey. the first thing I agree with you on. Might be the only thing. The turkey. Oh my the gosh. The turkey was turned. Pounds. No, it was 20 point something. It turned out the most moist. The breasts were so moist. I don't know how I did it, but it turned out good. But to all the cooks out there who cooked everything alone, God bless you. Because I am so exhausted. I don't think I'm ever going to recover from this. And the thing about it is we got Christmas coming just like that. 
Uh, so one thing I like about the Canadian holidays, they do Thanksgiving in October, so they got a break. We really don't get a break at all. True. And, and everything was very moist. Um, well, the turkey was. The pies were good. Oh, and I did make a pie. I need to put that on my... And what was your number one item? It was not the turkey. I love collards. Oh, I love the cranberry salad. The cranberry salad was your number one. Um, I did make a, eggs is my number one. I did make a pie, and I don't usually decorate pies, and it was my first, it might be my second time making a pumpkin pie. I don't like pumpkin pie, so I made it for Will and my daughter. I'm like, this has got to get, I got to make this pretty. So I got my Dollar Tree leaves, my wood leaf cutouts, and I put them on top of the dough, and I took the knife, and I made the leaf, cut the leaf out, and I put those on top. I'll post that, Will, if you remind me later, on my YouTube uh, community tab. But I did put it on Instagram, I think, yesterday. Sally, I've heard that before, and you're absolutely right. Unfortunately, I don't have an any boards, but I would like to take a pallet and make it into a catfish board because you're absolutely right about driving the head, the nail through the head, and therefore you would be able to skin your catfish right then and there. Right now, everything that I've been catching has been like smaller, uh, good fillet size, but not really, you know, I'd like to be catching in the nine to 10 pound range. And the biggest one I've caught this year has been three. But then again, it's been what I've caught. I mean, it's, it's it a, boy head. It a boy head. For a boy head, that's a trophy. But uh, anyway, um, <laughs> no, not now. Uh, I, and it is a full-time job, ladies. You're absolutely right. If you're the person responsible for Thanksgiving, my hat is off to you. I told Lisa, I don't know how you do it every year. Um, Christmas, Easter, the same thing. Because she cooks, 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 and then you clean, 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 and I helped her clean up. Obviously, I wasn't here for the cooking, but, uh, you know. Uh, oh, you were here for yesterday's cooking, but you slept to what? Almost 3 o'clock? Yeah, because I was exhausted. <laughs> I need to put those things on my eyes, you know. Uh, that's what they're there for. Uh, but anyway, no, my hat's off to anybody who, who does all the cooking and and at least has somebody help with the cleaning. Show hopefully. your giveaway again so you can tell them about so it. So the giveaway again, Mr. Bean is going to be the keyword. Hashtag uh, Mr. Bean. Hashtag Mr. Bean. We know of at least three items that will be in the giveaway. Um, that will be the playing cards. The Mr. Bean car from Matchbox, which is a collector's item. It is his Mini Cooper. And the King Queen Princess, depending on which way you want to look at it. Socks. We know that those will be in the giveaway. But please put down in the bottom, hashtag Mr. Bean giveaway. After the live. After the live, not right now. Uh, my ex used to nail them to a tree, Sally. That's very possible too. Um, you know, I don't have, unfortunately they cut all of our trees down here. I, I don't get it. Um, they left the mines though. It's really weird. Uh, but anyway, I told them that they shouldn't have done that, but they did. Um, uh, let's see, Jennifer Lopez. Bonnie, I don't go to Sam's. Um, my membership expired, and I really didn't feel the, feel like I had purchased anything on it. So, uh, you know, I did away, I let it go away. Um, and she's now into a tree. It was pretty, Lisa. Um, what are you referring to, um, the rain about it's pretty, so I can let Lisa know? Because she's, she's stepped out for just a minute. Um, never heard, um, she, I, she hasn't answered me yet. What was the question? The question was, it was pretty, Lisa, and you had stepped out for a minute, so I wanted to know what... Maybe the, um, she gets a lag on her, on her lives, so she might have been talking about the DIY. Okay, Lisa okay. seems to think that that's the DIY. Okay. Um, if you looked at her Instagram, it may have been her pie that she made. Right, right. So check out Lisa's Instagram, Lisa Stark. Uh, you can also check out Gas Fishing. I'm at $2.95 right now. I don't really get on Instagram too much, but Will does. I get on Instagram all the time because there's a fishing community and I'm pretty well involved with that.
You know, it does make sense, though, to nail them to the tree, to be honest. But I didn't hear back from people what they did for their Thanksgiving, so I'd love to hear, or in the comments, see what y'all uh, did for Thanksgiving, and some of your traditions, maybe. Hey, Marley. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't understand why it wasn't allowing a lot of people to come in on our live tonight. Um, we had a lot of technical difficulties tonight. So I would like to apologize to everyone who uh, had to watch it. Um, hey, this trucker's uh, life. How are you? Yeah, the truck socks were super cute. Um, she's shy, she's crafty. And again, I do have a, another pair of those. Uh, Sally says that her husband, uh, she and her husband stayed home, made, chick made chicken breast in a cooker, and it was really good, very juicy. You know, a lot of the cookers are, are very good. I know we have like air fryers. Um, we have an Instapot here, so... Um, and I think we have, we have an old, oh man, I'm trying to remember what it's called. It's like an old, oh man, Lisa can help me with it when she gets back in. But yeah, you're absolutely right about it being juicy. Was by myself, my daughter brought me a plate. You know, sometimes it's not bad to be by yourself, um, Sandy. It's, it, sometimes it can be pretty good to, you know, enjoy and just kind of step away from things. Sometimes that's good. Hopefully they'll be with you at Christmas. That, that'd be good. Uh, we only nail pike heads to the trees for show. Uh, pikes, are, pikes are an interesting animal as well. Um, I've only caught one member of that family. Uh, that was a chain pickerel. Uh, it's extremely hard to find pike down here where we live, all the way in South Carolina, because uh, we're down not really in the middle of the state, we're in the western part of the state. So it'd be very, very hard for me to, uh, to get a pike. I believe that they're in the northern part of the state. I'd like to try Lake Hickory when I go back up to North Carolina because I understand that it will, uh, it has some pike in it. So I'd, I'd be interested to see if I can catch some of those. Uh, let's see, my sister wouldn't come over, so I brought her a plate. That was nice. That was nice of you, Bonnie. See, that's what kind of person Bonnie is. She tells Lisa to shut up, and, uh, and she gives her sister You love advice. that. You can get away with it. I can't. She's too far away, right? And I don't get mad at her. Um, yeah, Sally. The, I know she's playing. I, well, she might not be. <laughs> Sally, that, that's true. Michigan has a lot of pike, a lot of walleye. Uh, I have a lot of fish there on my bucket list to catch. Um, we do have sturgeon here, but I have yet to hook into one. So if I do, I will definitely be posting that on Gas Fishing. Um, yeah, that was very nice of Bonnie to do that for her sister. I didn't know Bonnie's sister lived in her town. I didn't know that. I just thought it was Bonnie and her daughters. Sometimes it's best that you have your sister live with you, near you or brother, and sometimes it's best you don't. True. Philosophical thoughts from Will on this. I live far enough away, I don't have to worry. <laughs> far enough away where it's all good all the time. And they don't care to see me sometimes. So it is what it is. And you don't them sometimes? I don't, I have not seen, I saw my parents for the first time in almost two years the other day. Well, you, he works so much and it's so hard for him to get time off a lot to. Yeah. But he did take. the vacation. He's on vacation. He took, he was off Monday and he goes back Monday and he also has Chris, the week of Christmas off, <laughs> which he has not had Thanksgiving or Christmas off in like three years. Sally, you are all right with me. What Sally it? agrees it's best not to live close. It, is, it really is. Because I, I'm a good, well, they say I'm a good cook and everybody's always dropping in to want to eat all the time. And that's kind of tiring when you're tired. So J-Lo says that she watched the Macy's Parade. 
And you know what? We meant to watch it. My daughter has never missed a year watching it, and she yeah, forgot. She did this year. Because she wanted to see how it was going to be, you know, this year. But we see the whole thing. We forgot to watch it. Don't even bring that up. So, That's uh, stupid to say don't bring that up. What do you mean don't bring that up? No, I'm not bringing you up the whole thing with the masks and all that. Uh, no, don't start talking about what you get. Canada has a lot of pike and pickerel, too. Hey, um, if we get a chance to travel to Canada, we're coming there, Lorraine. We are coming because, and I know Bonnie is next on the travel list for us. Because yeah. Bonnie is next on our, because there's some stuff in there. Bonnie and I have already talked about this. Oh, Lisa's you, been outvoted two to one. You and Bonnie been talking behind my back? Right. <laughs> We did it right to your face. I mean, that's the difference. <laughs> so you're going to Bonnie's for real? We, yeah, we want to go to Bonnie's. Remember, you and I talked about this. Bonnie, you better get ready. We're busting in on your... Branson, Missouri is one of the... On your pad. Cattle. One of the fish. Well, she won't see you at all. You'll just be fishing. She might like that. All right. You like company that comes in there not around much. Right. <laughs> at least we'll do Dollar Tree. Uh, she can watch it on here. It's on YouTube. Good to know. Um, J, J Lo said that her, her, her man has sprained his foot and he was home. Oh, no. How long is he out of work? <laughs> Bonnie says, come on. Will used to be a manager at Walmart and he, I broke my foot. he broke his foot getting, he always worked. He's always managed to work night shift a lot of places. Now he works night shift one month, the days one month back and forth, but he was on night shift. He was getting off and right before he got off, he broke his foot and Walmart, believe what you might, they're not very friendly people when you get hurt. Or well, let me clarify. There was a really young co-manager who happened to be fired later. For, oh, for let me, theft. Oh. Of putting stuff on sale because she bought a new home for 90% off. So everything, I wish I'd have caught that sale. Everything in Walmart that day was 90% off. Anything you wanted, she put 90% off because she wanted to buy all new it things for her Black house. Friday and everybody who was there, the managers were trying to call the home office to get it reversed. The managers called home office to reverse. To report it so and the home office came and investigated and she was there for 30 more days and then terminated so if i bought a thousand dollar tv at walmart i'm only paying a hundred for that tv right, right? it's a hundred dollars that day so people i mean they but swiped that they walmart tracked, out that day they tracked it to, to your, her i mean we did like six to hundred percent up that day and then sell the rest of another thing the I rest of the week i bet you did nobody could come back they, they, had nothing in they probably spent thousands on uh buying all that 90 percent stuff oh, it was it was crazy they were parked in the i grass. just wish i'd have known about it i'd have been up there too i would have walked 100 miles to get there but anyway he broke his foot and when you break when you have an accident at walmart you have to have somebody above you go with you to the doctor so we they had somebody go with us. They his... wouldn't stop to put in the accident form. They didn't. Oh, that's right. Real, and I had to have associates. He couldn't even walk. I had, it was my right foot, so I had to drive home left footed. My associates. No, no, no. Me to Wait a second. Car. No. Did you drive home? Oh, he had to drive home for me to get him to take him to the doctor. But in the meanwhile, they called and told him he had to come back to the store for more accident report. So I drove him back. And they kept him in there so long. And he is, an, imagine breaking your foot. You're in a lot of pain. So after about 45 minutes, that was all I could take. I'm a nice person, but don't get me to the point. And I walk, I open those doors. And I'm like, I don't care what you people are doing, but he's leaving now and we're going to the doctor. Because he was in excruciating pain. But he went to the doctor that day and he never missed a beat of work. He, I even took, like, it really made him mad because the same co-manager had to come to work on nights with me. And I would take my little mark cart, you know, that little handicap cart. I'm about to tell him that story, but and you... And I would have, like, three of them a night because they only go for, like, three or four hours. And I took the pallet jack behind me, and I would pick up all the pallets and be hauling them off. And the co-manager got so mad at me. But we'll never work, never miss a beat. I would drive him to work. And I'd go in and get the wheelchair and bring it out and put him in it. And he worked in the wheelchair for three or four months. Right. But we're thankful you had a job. You were able to continue working right. during that and time. I got to see karma come around on that manager. That was well, 
she she did that to herself. A ninety percent sale on everything in a Walmart. Karma is so great. But anyhow. But he kept working in the wheelchair for months. But I did have to pick him up and drive him every day, which was an hour away. So that was kind of aggravating. So but. in the meantime, while we've been talking about this, there has been a slight disturbance in the force. What happened? Lorene has twisted Bonnie's arm to bring you up there to Canada. So me and Bonnie are going to Canada together. With me. Oh, we got to go pike and muskie fishing. Yeah. And you go to Dollarama. Yeah, me and Bonnie and Lorraine got a Dollarama. It is sad, Sandy. It, it's really sad how... If they ever open the borders up. It, it's really sad how pathetic some people really are. Well... And I've seen karma a couple times happen. Well, I've bad seen, people. Yeah, I've, seen it. I've seen the karma happen a lot. But this woman was that and like, Will didn't even break her foot, Sandy. I mean, his foot. But you know what? People who think you're the liar... Are the liar their self. And they have cameras everywhere in Walmart, believe you me. So all I had to do was go look. All she had to do was go look at the camera. Hey, Jamie D. So anyway, um, you know, and this, I think this happened during, when did that happen? That happened during the summertime, didn't it? No, it was in, uh, that's the other horrible part. It was in the winter. It was in, we were living in Georgia at the time. Or it was in the winter. We had a ice storm. Oh, that's right. It was during the ice storm. We had no electricity. He even worked through that with a broke foot. He would come home and take a cold shower. I didn't take a shower for like five days. I just would kind of try to wash off in the late afternoon with a cold it washcloth. It was freezing. It was like Canada weather. Hint, Lorraine. It was just ice everywhere. And our windshield busted out because of the ice. And here we are. You couldn't call anybody. There was no gas stations open. There was nothing open. I mean, everything. You think that this uh, virus had everything closed down? Everything was closed down except for Walmart. And I only had 10 employees. But they did end up putting us in a hotel across the street. Which people were very nice. Well, the one they put us in, we actually couldn't stay in because their sprinkler systems went off. And I went into a hotel, a very, very high-end hotel next door. <laughs> That's interesting. I am a trooper. I went uh, into a very high end. Hint, hint. You're telling it on yourself. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, we went into a very high end motel right beside us. And I wasn't paying for it because Walmart was supposed to pay for it. Make a long story short. I'm like, I can't pay for this but because <laughs> I wasn't going to because they were paying for it. But Walmart will pay you back. And uh, the woman who runs the place, what she called The general manager of the place came out and she goes, well, hello. <coughs> so, hey, if it snows in Missouri, they close down. But if it snows in South Carolina, they don't. That's because we don't have, we don't have the, we don't get snow hardly ever. We haven't had it in ten years. But they closed down. Uh, the little snowstorm in Missouri. Uh, uh, they have it all the time. Uh, so we'll stick with my story. So the lady comes out and she's just acting like we have known each other our whole entire lives. <laughs> yes. And. She's like, well, I'm so glad to see you, blah, blah, blah. She's like, what do you need? And I told her, I said, but I don't have the money. I'll be getting it from Walmart. She's like, oh, I'll do anything you want. And she gave us this huge suite with bedrooms, a kitchen. A, oh, we got the, it was, we it was got bigger the presidential suite. It was, and finally I said, ma'am, where do I know you from? She said, you're the sweet, lovely lady I met at Monkey Joe's. It's a, like a jungle gym it place. Gym place you take kids. And that's where I'd met her, and I had totally forgot I met her. But she was the sweetest So that lady. goes to show you, always be nice when you're out and about. You never know when you're going to need somebody later. <laughs> Bonnie, JDD says, if there's ever a nuclear war, the only thing left will be cockroaches in Walmart. And Bonnie... <laughs> that's a good one. And Bonnie adds to it and says, and share. Share. Yeah, share. Share. Uh... Did you ever tell them about the story <clears throat> with Cher? Oh, I need that picture. Well, I am now in my college hall of fame. He is a picture up in the, what's that area? It was. It's been moved to the museum. Okay. But it was in the commons room. When you go to his college. And I was the, it was the only picture that stayed up of our class. Wait, what were you doing? What was it called again? I was doing a skit. But what was it called that whole night? It was a talent show. Right, a it talent, talent show. Soup is what it was called. I will get those pictures out one day, and we will have to share them. 
But they dressed Will up as Cher. No, Will dressed himself up as Cher. Well, that's even worse. I wouldn't admit that. worse? I, I, I wouldn't have admitted that. Him. He was skinny just like Cher. He's, he's gained a little weight because I cook a lot. But he was skinny like Cher. He had Cher's long hair. Did you put pantyhose on well, too? I, I love Cher too. I just want to clarify that I did have pantyhose and a dress on. And by the way, it, there was 500 people in attendance. And I mooned every last one of them. You mooned them? Yeah, by accident. How? Because my dress came up. How'd your dress come up? Because when Ron Blake, who, who you Go see ahead. on Instagram, uh, when we did it apart, it, he was so, because I was so skinny back then, he was to sweep me off my feet because he was sunny. And he's a bigger bro. Oh, was, so you had a sunny to go with your share. I had a sunny to go with my share. Wow. So anyway, I get swept off my feet. And <laughs> in the meantime, my dress gets pinned in the backside of my underwear. And so everything or, was showing. No, I don't know. Yeah. Well, and this is funny too. That, that tiny one this is funny that say. you guys were dressing up as girls. Or you as a girl because <laughs> Jamie D, I bet you look better than Cher. This was an all male military <laughs> college at the time. It's the Citadel. Yes. It is the military college of the South. Oh. But Will had a pretty bad time while he was there. I don't know if you know of the Citadel, but there was, you know how well, I don't know how to put it. There's this girl, her name was Shannon Faulkner. Who did not complete her application properly, and they admitted her to the school. And it was a big, huge thing here in the South, where they were starting to allow girls in. And um, it was constantly on TV. You couldn't watch anything, because they would news break, break that Shannon Faulkner in. Anyway, she went, how long, Will? I, I a year. Every news media in the world was there and from other places. I mean, all over the world, all over the United States, every day. And, Will, you had to deal with that. We dealt with it at the gates all the time. I was a junior when, um, well, wait a second. I was a so I was not when she entered. She left. That's his first year, she freshman. after three days, never took the oath. No, very few people know that. And then years later, she worked with a girl who dated my middle son. Right. She's a school teacher in uh, the Greenville, Spartanburg. Hey, Sean Ray, it's been a while. She's a teacher now in the Spartanburg, Greenville area. But she just did all that so she could be famous and say she was the first girl that got in. in the history books, I guess. I don't know. I'm now, was Nancy now. Mace the first woman who graduated? Nancy Mace, who is now our state representative in the Charleston area. Nancy Mace. Her yes. dad was a professor there? Her dad was the commandant of cadets he was general emory may he is general emory mace i don't know if he's still alive um but, but she was the first girl to graduate from there and then petra lavatinska was the next girl to graduate. and she was just in these last elections she is a republican if you don't like republicans so, but she is a f first female who had graduated from there and she made what is she now for she, South Carolina? She's the uh, House of Representatives. For South Carolina. For South Carolina. So that's and awesome. She does have books out, Nancy May. She really made a name for herself and went far with it. And she was the first woman graduate. And guys do not, still to this day, they do not like women coming in because it's always been a male. But it's funny. Hold on. A male college. But what's funny? If you have a daughter who you, wants to go. You do everything you can to. everything to get her in. I, my daughter wanted to go. I did everything to get her in. I got her in. She didn't end up going. She but got in. She got she accepted. Got in, but she got a full ride. Oh, everywhere. when he found that out, he calls them right away. And you know she's automatically in because he's a, uh, graduate. a graduate. But you don't want any other girls to go unless it's your daughter. Right. And she got in. She got in in pretty good shape. But it turned out Coker offered her a little bit more. So she went to Coker. She went to a private college. She went to a private college. But there's a true story. Um. That's what happened, and, and you know, a little history lesson for y'all, all involving <laughs> Sunny and Cher and Thanksgiving, because the talent, well, no, the talent show wasn't at Thanksgiving, the talent show was around Easter, so, but just to let you know, um, again, uh, do not forget about the Mr. Bean giveaway, put it in the video once we have it posted, put it in the comments, be a subscriber, and like our video, put hashtag Mr. Bean giveaway. We'll have a couple more items we're going to add to it because I'm not going to send all this to you. It's your house. It's my haul, and I, it's my haul, and I'm going to pick what I want to. 
That's right. So, uh, let's see. I remember when all that was going on. I live in Spartanburg. Been to Spartanburg many times. And uh, just was talking about the Beacon Restaurant. World famous. If you are in South Carolina and you get a chance to go to the Beacon, it is on the Food Network. It is wonderful. I lived in Greer, South Carolina. I know you know where Greer is if you're in Spartanburg. And when Will and I met, he would come from Charleston to meet me in Greer, South Carolina. Because I still live there at the time. I lived there for many years. My kids went to Greer High School. They played football on the football team and cheered and all that good stuff. Oh, Bonnie, you're already entered. Stop. But anyway. Also, Bonnie don't really have to enter. She just entered, right? She keeps entering on here on the comments. <laughs> oh, Bonnie. You're not going to forget Bonnie, are you, Will? No. <laughs> She'd probably go fishing with Lorraine and I as... Lorraine's son and me. Ask her. Bonnie, would... Do you want to go fishing, Bonnie, or stay with us? If the opens up, would you rather go fishing with me and Lorraine's son? Or oh, stay with us. Who's a very good fisherman. Or go with all of the girls and go to Dollarama. Be honest. Go to Dollarama. Well, hello, chicken fried. Chicken fried. Might hello and a, welcome. We might have a somebody in here. What do you mean we might have somebody in here? What does that mean? Oh, you were writing to let everyone know what was to write. Okay. Um, thank you, chicken fried. Appreciate that. And by the way, you support an awesome football team. Uh, my hat's off to you. My team has been terrible for years, and matter of fact, they're probably no longer in existence. You're, which which well, sport? They call them the Washington football. We're never going to change it. It's, it's the, always going to be the Washington Redskins. The Redskins. We can't. I mean, I think the next generation may change the name, but in this generation, you just cannot. What's it even called now? Uh, the Washington Football Team. I can't oh, say oh, that. I can't do that either. But they have beaten the Cowboys <laughs> twice this year. Yes. Yes. You're gonna make a lot of cowboy fans mad. They beat the tar out of your team, Lisa. You're gonna make a lot of tar. Uh, Healthy no. living with Miss Renee is here. Hello, Renee. And uh, let's see. We have. Um, hmm, let's see. Uh, by the way, Donnie Nut. Donnie Nut. I hope I spelled that right. Said it right. Says it. They would go fishing. And, but Bonnie says she's going to Dollarama. Told you. Sell out. She don't like you that much. Sell out. No woman likes you that much. <laughs> she's got a point. <laughs> you do have a point. I do like to go deep sea fishing. I don't like to go red fishing. We have fishing. not gone yet. We have not gone yet. Uh, so, Renee, how have you been? What we're talking about is Thanksgiving. We were talking about a story about Walmart. And you did a uh, Janie, haul. I did a haul. Remember, hashtag Mr. Bean. Which our moderator tonight has been doing a wonderful job. Both of them, Marley's inspiration is one moderator. Oh, well, Marley finally got Marley in. Marley is in, and also thank uh, you for coming, Marley. And also we have Bonnie's corner. They have both done a wonderful job of moderating tonight. Thank you. Um, so we've also talked a little bit about fishing because hashtag Gas yes, Fishing at Instagram is my Instagram account. We have 295 on that last time I checked, going up to 300. Uh, so that's going really Why well. Why do you say we? It's your Instagram account, so you always act like you've got mouse in your pocket. Well, at least it takes the pictures. I don't take your pictures. Yeah, you do. Don't put me on that. You take most of them. I just take one once in a while. At least it takes a picture every now and then, and therefore she is part of my When team. you're holding the fish sometime. When I'm holding fish up, she takes pictures. But I take the rest. I'm dying to go to Dollarama. Uh, let's see. Lisa's clearly dying to go to the twelve Dollaramas that are near Lorraine. Is it twelve near? She has twelve Dollaramas near. How do you Jayla, know that? Because she just posted that. And Jennifer uh -huh. Lopez said that's crazy, with a question mark. Even though she didn't say that was crazy. I would like to go. So with who's me. eating leftovers tonight? We're gonna be. 
We, we, we have a hate. After this live, we're going to be eating because I've had McDonald's today and that's it. Because I'm a fat boy. What did I... <laughs> <laughs> but I exercise right after I eat McDonald's. Um, I haven't really ate today, so I'm going to... We're going to have leftovers till we can't eat leftovers till the leftovers are gone. Landon's really fast and he chased me and caught me and then I had to chase him and it took me longer to catch him than it did him. I like him. to have leftovers so you don't have to cook. <laughs> Not us. <laughs> Are you having pizza today? It's actually National Pizza Day. It is the day when more pizza is bought in the United States or around the world, period. Well, we don't like to buy pizza either. <laughs> I make the best homemade pizza so we eat pizza here. We eat we don't really go out to eat. Zaxby's, I have not had Zaxby's in a while. It is really getting pricey. It is really, really pricey. It's good, but it's pricey. Um, I'm not treating myself right now. I Will mean, goes to manager years and years ago. Will goes to Chick Fil A quite a bit, only because he likes it, but he does he does get a fifty percent discount at Chick Fil A, so that's his go to stop I all the time. At, um, Zaxby's. You do. But it's not but fifty. No, but he we gets he gets uh fifty percent off at Chick Fil A. So you can't beat that deal. Janie's going with leftovers. I agree, Janie. Me too. Unfortunately, I ran out of my separated plates, and I should have got some today, because then I could have separated it again, and we put it back out. And we just have a smorgasbord again. But man, that's what I get for not thinking. You just put it on a rocket plate. I was too busy hauling other stuff. It was 17 for two of us. That's about right. Not ordering pizza here in Branson in Chicago. 17 yes. when you go to Chick-fil-A? I no, think. Seven, uh, she said 17 in Zaxby's. It's pretty high when you go to uh, Chick-fil-A. Just ordered two meals in, about 16. Yeah. And so we'll get it for eight. I did for eight. Thank goodness. <laughs> but Dewey wouldn't go. And then the owner likes me, so it's all good. He should like everybody in the he world likes everybody. because he is making so much money. He makes so much money that our drive through is out in I the I mean, road. sometimes they'll have it out in the the main road. And that's even when the inside was open. Now he's got to whip it all around the parking lot and be like, you got to go here. And he's got to have traffic directors out there with safety vests. All of our restaurants have been open for a long time. Back up, but... There's a couple of our fast food places that are like, we don't want our customers coming inside anymore. So they, I think it's a lot easier for them. So they just have stayed shut down. Chick-fil-A is shut down. So. And Burger King. Yes. But everywhere else is open. I McDonald's mean, is walk in, but they don't sit down. They do at some of them though. Some of them, right. If you don't mind me asking, how do you get 50% off? Cause that's great. Um, I'm his job. If, Shawna, I'll send you. Uh, I will. His job, uh, the job he works, he gets fifty percent off. Yes. It yes. doesn't work for Chick Fil A or anything related. Like Chick Fil A. But the job he has, they get fifty percent off. Different places give different discounts. Uh, we don't call it leftovers. We call it specialty buffet. JDD says. But Chick Fil A. You are funny. But Chick Fil A. But Chick Fil A is the only place that gives fifty percent off, oh. except for uh, Rushes. Russia, and, oh, yeah, and Columbia, South Columbia, Carolina. South Carolina yeah. But we are about an hour and a half from there, so. It is. It's, it's a thank you to those who work in the service industry. So uh, that's that's pretty much how I'm going to touch bases with it, Shauna. But uh, you can just guess. You can you can guess it. Um, however, uh, so you you love deep dish pizza. Uh, I like Chicago deep dish. Oh, here we go. What? Bonnie, you're selling me out again. What's she doing? Talk. Chicago deep dish for Lisa. Chicago deep dish for Bonnie. So what does that mean? What are you saying? Y'all are together again. Y'all have voted together again. Oh, so we're supposed, to, we're, we're supposed to be adversaries. Right. You were supposed to go not to Dollar Rock, but go fishing. Body me and you are not allowed to agree on anything anymore. That's Corner. right. It has been we're agreed. Right. Oh, great. You're, now Renee's in there, too. You're crazy, Will. And Renee is in that area, I believe. Right, Renee? Yes, they're both in the same area. No. Bonnie used to be from Chicago. Area, but she's in Branson, remember? Yes, ma'am. 
What? Crazy. What? Bonnie, you're crazy. You What'd she that. say? Bonnie said, uh, yes, ma'am. Bonnie keeps us all going in, on YouTube, doesn't she? Oh, I'm off. Let me go back here for just a minute. Let me go to my, back to the live. Because I got out of the live back from Um, I live in Chicago. Watch she lives in Smackdown. Chicago. So Renee can get so her. She's watching. Oh, Jello, you're watching wrestling. How is it? Uh, Renee can get her some Chicago deep dish anytime. Will loves wrestling. I have you been to a, has anybody in the live tonight been to a live wrestling show? Been live. I'm not talking about a televised. It doesn't have to be a televised. Not me. I've never been. Oh, it's worth it. Now I didn't. You're, know. You are missing out. It is really well. I did. Well, we had a grandson. We bought tickets for the grandsons, and he took them. And our oldest one, he's like a computer geek and stuff. You know, he don't really get into that. He and he estrogen squad. <laughs> <laughs> we had to force him to go. He did not want to go. And Will said when he got there, he was the one screaming the loudest. He absolutely enjoyed it. Cheney, I'm questioning here. You went with a bunch of females. To where? To the wrestling, she said estrogen squad. Why wouldn't you? We get a look at those men. Good point. Do you remember the Chippendales? Yeah. The estrogen. Magic Mike? They were all edged. Estrogen squad going to see the Chippendales. I never went to see the Chippendales. Oh, that's sad that he's passed I might have been away. too young. Sandy but... Bellin said that she had a nephew who was a professional wrestler, but has passed away. That's sad. That is. Sorry to hear that. Madison Square Garden. Um, I actually dealt with a former professional wrestler um, in my occupation. Very nice, very nice. Billy the Kid from the 1980s in WWE. What year? When was this? Um, about two years ago. Why didn't you tell me? I find out, like I always say, I find out all kind of new things about Will when we do these lives. So you were dealing with a, a wrestler? Yeah, and he was the coolest guy. Why didn't you tell me about it? I had so much else going on. Well, you need to tell me these things. That's important, yes. Uh, so, anyway, uh, we're <laughs> into wrestling. J-Lo, if we ever come to New York, you and I are hanging out, girl. Uh, so, anyway. <laughs> She's uh, your kind of girl. That's right. right. I got, uh, let's see, we've got, uh, so is Sally. Sally likes wrestling and fishing. And so. where's Sally's at? Sally is in Michigan. Michigan. Walleye and pike country. Things with big teeth. Things with big teeth. We got sharks down here, by the way. Uh, I think years ago they had some kind of wrestling that came to Jackson. I'm assuming that's Jackson, Mississippi. And uh, let's see. Saw the thunder from down under in Las Vegas. Those women were screaming so loud. It was terrible. I out screamed them all. Understandable about that, Janie. Uh, you know, why? Because Stone Cold said so. He's my fave. <laughs> Stone Cold. Stone Cold is a good one. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, uh, evidently some big wrestling fans in, in the house tonight. Uh, Jayla, who's your current favorite wrestler? Thunder from Down Under. I remember that. I remember that show. He has his own show now, Bonnie, in the WWE app. That is true. He does have his own show in the WWE app. And I believe it is because Stone Cold said so. And uh, he's a very interesting individual. Um, he also had, um, I think it was Rattlesnake Ranch. Um, on, um, on, I, it's not GAC, it's one of the, or Broken Skull Ranch or something like that, that he had a physical fitness challenge. Very interesting. Um, let's see. Thunder from Down Under has really got me, I seem to remember that. But I outscreamed them all. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's really funny. Uh, but anyway, I took my two grandsons, one of which could not stand wrestling and one of which loved wrestling. And the irony was the grandson who was hated wrestling 
actually enjoyed the show more than the one who loved wrestling, and it was the Lucha Libre uh, style of wrestling. Okay, I have to go wash some clothes. So y'all have a good night, and I'm glad I caught the live. Uh, Sean, we are so glad you came in tonight, and uh, obviously, you know, hopefully we'll be able to do this again. Hopefully we won't have as many uh, technical issues as we did tonight, and we are so glad that you came in. Don't forget about the hashtag, uh, Mr. Bean. If you are the winner, uh, we will announce who the winner is. Uh, let's give it one week, and... Um, then from that point on, we will uh, pick a winner, and you will have to email us. Uh, let's see. Show to Randy. Good night. Randy Orton loved the Viper. Wow. Um, I think we saw AJ Styles that night. I think we saw, and I have a guest coming in. Go, Landon. Go up here and do it. Go show him what you got. Landon has made his guest appearance. Landon Come show has gone on before. Don't show him. Keep it in the Tonight bag. will be eyeing Roman. Go show him in your bag what you got. Okay, Landon is coming up with this. He uh, just came back from Target. Landon has been has done lives before. And he got something at Target and he wants to show it. And everybody. we're talking wrestling, Landon. He's got to take a minute. Are. He's stripping. Landon is getting changed to be grammatically correct. Uh, so. You make sure you hit the like button as well. That's correct. Uh, tonight we'll be eyeing Roman. Roman Reigns, yes. Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, and AJ Styles when they came to Augusta, Georgia. We went and watched that show. It was the Summer Heat Tour from two years ago, and that was the last time we went. That was the first time I went, and I was really impressed with the show. Um, got to watch Charlotte Flair. Got to watch... Um, uh, Oh, what is her name? The Fox, the Fox, the girl named Fox. Um, actually, she, I think, was a better wrestler than Charlotte that particular night. Um, and let's see, who else? We had uh, Sheamus. Um, we had parts of the Miz Taraj. So, hashtag Mr. Bean. Put it after the video ends and we get it posted. Put it up there, Janie D. Um, so, here is Landon. He is getting ready. He is fully outfitted. Now this Target, this outfit is from Target. Now Landon, step up here. Come sit in my lap, please, sir. And here we have our newest elf waving at the camera. AJ Stewart is a taller person. He looks shorter on TV. He is taller in person. So Landon is here on the live and crushing my stomach. Landon's oh, crushing oh, my oh. stomach. Ah. And the lyric is going to get changed. No, I, don't, I didn't read anything. Okay, the lyric's going to get in front of the camera, I guess. I got a dice. Did he stand up and show everybody? Uh, he sat on my stomach and showed everybody. Stand up and show him in I your got little a outfit. Dice Hold on. No, no, no. Stand on the couch. Stand on the couch. Please don't kick the drinks. It's facing you. It's facing, it's facing you. Don't you. move Stop. it. Don't move it. They can't see Here, just like stand that. right there and I'll move it up and down. Hi, Landon. Your your <coughs> outfit is cute and awesome. Say hi, everybody. And it is show hi. and tell, according to Janie D. All right, sit down. <coughs> okay. Now, Lyric is going to show his item. I got a dice. He's going to show game. himself, I guess. Sit down beside Pappy. He's got a dice game called uh, Katam. Now, Lyric, you... Were, this is an interesting game. You were at the SmackDown, uh, the Summer Slam Live. Yeah. What did you feel about that? Because you were not, sit back, you were not a wrestling fan. I, I really like it. That's an awesome suit, according. Do not touch the camera, please. Move on, here, Landon. He's our wow child. He's our Dennis the Menace. Uh, La Lyric, uh, Landon. Landon, would you like to tell everybody what you did at school this week and accomplished? He's our brainchild. Uh, I won the spelling bee. He won the spelling bee in December. At December 5th, I have to go, I have to do it again. You on December 1st, do you, go to states? you do it for the school. I, I do it for the school, and then I do the states. Then he does the states. So he's taking the school. And he's saying he's doing the states because he's saying he's going to win this. He's loud saying he's winning this. No, no, okay, so this is what I have to do. You got to talk a little louder, dear. I, I have to, um, I have to do my grade, my school, and then, um... 
And then I have to do the state, and then I do the um nationals. Then I do the nationals. So you, you could possibly be at Scripps. Yes. You feel confident in being at Scripps? Yes. Okay. He I like, is. I like it. He was like born like a genius. So. Everybody has said, "Way to go! Good job." Say thank you. Um, Landon, they say you look cute in your outfit. What do you say? And they say you're handsome like me. So very successful, very proud of, uh, of our grandchildren and all that they've accomplished. And um, we're gonna have to play this dice game that you got. Lyric to over here about he was about eight years old. And he was staying with us during the summer, and he called his mom, and he said, Mom, I came up with a plan. His dad was truck driving at the time. He said, me and Gammy, that's what they call me. He, he volunteered me. He said, me and Gammy are hitching a ride with my dad to Silicon Valley in California. He said, he wants to work with the big tech and computers. He said, I'm getting a job. I'm going to rent an apartment for me and Gammy. And I'm starting my career now. Then he starts looking up colleges for this. And he found one in Savannah, Georgia. Wasn't it, Will? Savannah Graphic Arts. But then he said, I'm going to go ahead and go to college now. So I can go ahead and get to uh, Silicon Valley. But then, but then he... But then I thought about child labor laws and I wouldn't, uh, but, wouldn't let me get a job. But he thought about child labor laws, but he has to be a certain age for the SAT. Yeah. 16. And so it kind of derailed me and him going to Silicon Valley. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, they, they, they like your name. Maybe y'all can like your name. What do you have to say? I, I named Lyric his name because... Um, they like music. His, dad, his mom plays violin and piano, and his dad's in a band. Was. Or was in a band at the time heavy for a long time. What else? He's a heavy metal guitar. He's a heavy metal guitarist. And so um, his dad's name was Matthew, what Nolan, was it? Nolan. Matthew Nolan. Nolan Matthew Levan Owens. Nolan, Nolan Matthew, Matthew Levan, Levan Owens. And I'm like, I don't like the Nolan part. I said, so let's name him Lyric. So his name is, what is his, is it Lyric Matthew? Lyric Matthew Lyric Levan, Matthew Levan, Levan Owens. Owens. So he's Lyric Matthew Levan. So we dropped the Nolan and it's Lyric. So I figured with both his parents like a music, that was a perfect name. I got my favorite item. Y'all can hold Can I have you step outside for a minute? Sure. I'm not doing it. Can one? Lyric, I need you to do me a favor. Go get me that 10, please. That what? Bye, Landon. That See you what? later. That what? What are you doing? See you later, Landon. What are you doing? Give me the 10, please. Okay. Oh, that's it. You want to hold my favorite item? You, you get us off subject. No, because I have... Tell them your daughter came in. The daughter came in, and now... She wants to show you her favorite item. <laughs> her part actually is coming into the Where did you pick these up? And she said she picked, she said she picked up go. one for everybody, so y'all come on over. So it's a... Come uh, on over, hey, why not? She got this at Target. It's the Starbucks frappuccino coffee drink. The peppermint. peppermint. Mocha. What are you holding over here, Ashley? Uh, more. They're the peppermint mocha. They're amazing. The peppermint mocha, she said, they are amazing. They went out for a little while so we could do the Dollar Tree haul. So, yes, she is very pretty. Um, Ashley is very Stay out. Stay out. She doesn't have a stick of makeup on right now. Yeah. Ashley, would you like to get beside Will and show everybody your... She doesn't have any makeup on. She's probably going to kill me. Um, I guess I can. But I think she's a natural beauty. Elijah is with his dad. Bonnie, that's a great question. Yes, Elijah and it came over yesterday and his dad and they went back home, but Elijah will be back Sunday. He goes to school here, so he stays with us on school days. Sharing is caring, that's All right. right. Ready, okay. uh, Jayla, we are always sharing. We okay, always let me introduce my daughter. This is well, I do have a video of her on my channel where her and my son did a commercial if you'd like to go watch that. I don't know why the lyric has just dumped all this all over the floor. I'll get him. Listen, so this is my daughter. She does not have one stick of makeup on, and she didn't do her hair today, but we're going to introduce her anyway. They don't drink coffee, by the way. This is my youngest child, Ashley. Hello, everyone. Hey, Ash. This is my first appearance on Lisa and Will's house. It's nice <laughs> to meet y'all. This is my little elf right here. Oh, they know you're a little elf. 
He's been on before. And Landon has a Dollar Tree haul on our channel that he did, and he did awesome. Can't leave comments on it because of the children thing. Mm -hmm. Yep, he was, uh, can I please have that, Larry? Will, why are you worried about that? What are you doing with this, Will? Putting some of these Christmas gifts in it quickly so they don't see. Uh, they, they're fine. We can take this blanket right here and throw over them. That's great. Let's do that. You don't have to worry about a tin bucket. Okay. There All you right. go. Over and done with. Thank you, she's shy, she's scrappy. Here. Her name is Lorene Ashley. Thank you, Lorene. She's what? Bonnie said hello. She's more brave than me to get on camera without makeup or anything. No, Ashley's been here for Hi, Bonnie. One. Ashley's been here for one video, and she's already been on camera. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now. No, he's saying I don't get on. I'm on a couple videos, Buster. I'm on a couple videos. One day I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it, okay? Hey, JD. How are you? I'm going to try the Starbucks peppermint. Mocha. I love it. It's my favorite. So. And it, it doesn't really taste like coffee. It's a um, it's one of the frappuccinos, so it doesn't really have too much of a coffee taste, which I love. I would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone for being on our live tonight. Um, we were not planning on going about two hours, but it's now at an hour and 50 minutes. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate all of you who have viewed. For stopping by. For stop and thank you for stopping by, taking time out of, to. I might have y'all too close. And taking time to um, out of your busy schedule on a Friday night. Uh, thank you oh. in particular to Bonnie. That's from Dollar Tree. Lisa, you need to get over that girly. Um, she don't need makeup. She's beautiful. Uh, Jennifer Lopez said uh, she watched your video. Thank you, Sam. Cat Cass, you came in at the very end. Jennifer watched Ashley's commercial video. Oh, thank you, Jennifer. I appreciate you. Is that what she's saying, Will? Yes, ma'am. Yes, her, and that's my son in the video as well, my oldest son. My brother you can, Brandon. Her brother Brandon. We've worked together for many of years. They did. All three of my kids have worked together at different times. They're in the car industry, but they do the videos for car commercials. And... um. Yeah, my brother Brandon and I, we've been in a Chevrolet commercial and a Hyundai commercial and a Toyota commercial together. Donnie and I, we were so glad. And, being and a Lyric. Fellow, said, being a fellow South Carolinian, we were glad that you came in. Yes, thank you. And Lyric said, oh my gosh, not another commercial, so my friends have to see my mom. <laughs> How embarrassing. Janie D, thank you so much. And, and you really provided, a, you and uh, Bonnie provided a lot of humor throughout the uh, thing, especially with some of the comments that you made. And um, also would like to thank our moderators tonight, which were Marley and Bonnie's Corner. Uh, thank you for keeping people out who did not need to be in our live. And um, thank you for keeping it clean for us. And we greatly appreciate that. Uh, it has been fun. And we look forward to doing this again. Uh, we don't announce our lives because... Sometimes we, we do, but sometimes... We have technical difficulties sometimes. <laughs> But uh, anyway, you guys got to meet our family, and thank you. Some of our family. Some of our family. Have a great night, and we wish you the very best. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, be safe. Bye. 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 Now we have to figure out how to get us off of here. Bye. Let's get us off. Are you?